Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at a Sultai food deck that I built during the early access event for Throne of Eldraine, which I was invited to thanks to Wizards of the Coast. That's why it also says sponsored in the title. It's because we got access to these accounts with all the Throne of Eldraine cards already unlocked. But regardless, hope you enjoy. There's a few ways we could build this deck. The main synergy I think everyone wants to exploit is um, Oko with the invasion. So for those that aren't aware of how this uh, plays out, we can play Dreadhorde Invasion, every turn make a zombie token, and then turn that zombie token into an elk. And because it loses its creature type, the invasion, instead of adding counters onto the previous zombie, gets to make a new one. And then we've got, of course, a goose making uh, use of food and Oko providing food. So these three cards are a good start to a food-related deck. Now there's a few ways we can continue with uh, these different cards. We can try and go big with something like the Feasting Troll King, maybe add some ways of putting cards in the graveyard and getting them back, but maybe that's a different deck and instead this is more like a mid-rangey deck. Yeah, in the case of Dreadhorde Invasion the Elks are actually 4-4s since they also have a plus one plus one counter, so it's even better than a straight up 3-3 uh, three, three token. So yeah, going with the Feasting Troll King is an option, but I think we want to save this for a different shell. Maybe we can still play like one or two but I'm definitely thinking of a deck where we can kind of reanimate the Feasting Troll King by sacking a bunch of food. So maybe that will be a different shell. But the Wicked Wolf definitely seems quite good in this deck. So I'm gonna have four of those. Like we could consider the Trail of Crumbs. Don't know if this card is quite good enough. It's a little bit slow. Sack a food, pay one mana to get an effect. So this is a maybe. So what card do... I like as well is the Woodland Champion that grows whenever we make a token and food tokens count as well, the Dreadlord Invasion tokens count. So here I kind of like the, the Champion quite a bit. And then it's a bit unclear how we should continue. Like I can probably fit in Paradise Druid since the ramp is nice and the mana fixing is nice as another 2-drop. And then we can kind of fill out the deck with some removal, some top-end cards. Maybe I can just play a random Garak at 6 mana or Liliana. 4 mana Vraska is also a very good one with Oko, so probably want 2 or 3 of Vraska as well. So the 4 drops seem taken care of here. A uh, giant opportunity could be interesting too. So we can sack 2 foods to make a 7-7, seven, seven. otherwise we get to make 3 food. Just making three food can be pretty good with uh, reanimating the Feasting Troll King from the graveyard or fueling the Wicked Wolf. And uh, if we have a bit of food laying around, making a 7-7 seven, seven isn't bad. It's also making tokens for the Woodland Champion, so yeah, we'll try it. Why not? I think I'm going to play Paradise Druid just because the curve of going turn one Gilded Goose, turn two Paradise Druid, turn three Wicked Wolf with a food token in play seems pretty appealing. What else? We've got uh, 57 cards laid out already. I guess we're a little bit light on removal. We only have Raska and Wicked Wolf at the moment, so maybe some Assassin's Trophies as versatile removal. Legion's End could be a consideration too, but since we're a bit light on removal for big things, I'm leaning Trophy. Can also kill lands against like Field of the Dead. We can blow up the Field of the Dead. So let's do two Trophies and then could play third trophy, could play 25 lands, could add one more card somewhere. Maybe just play four Vraskas since Vraska does play quite well with Invasion, Oko, just kind of the entire deck in general. Murderous Riders would be good, but it's double black, so that's a bit sketchy, I think. So let's just add another Vraska. And then the mana base. And we get to play with eight temples potentially, so that's nice. I guess maybe a couple black-blue duels, but not that many. So like two Watery Graves maybe. So right now I have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 green sources. So that's plenty. I have 10, 11 black, might need a bit more. And I have 10, 11 blue. But I do also have 
Druid and Gilded Goose to help. So I guess that's still reasonable-ish. Do want to make sure I have plenty of green for these early Gilded Goose and Paradise Druid and Woodland Champions. But maybe I need a couple more black sources at least. The only blue card is Oko. No Lovestruck Beast. Lovestruck Beast is interesting too. A bit light on 1-1 one -one creatures perhaps. Since the Dreadhorde Invasion is not going to keep 1-1 one -one tokens. So it's not the most synergistic. So how many untapped green sources do I have right now? 12? I guess 11 might be enough. So I have 3 Forest for Breeding Pool for Overgrown Tomb coming into play untapped on turn 1. And then I can just play an extra Watery Grave. Giving me 12 of each black and blue. Could also not play basics and just play 4 Watery Graves. But sometimes it's nice not to, to have to pay 2 life. So I think we'll try this for starters. Could potentially try and fit in the uh, Gingerbread Cabin. Since we do like having food. But it requires 3 other forests. So that's pretty steep since I only have uh, 11 forests in the deck. So I don't think I can fit in the cabin. Could potentially play the Fabled Passage. Also didn't really consider this one building the Wolf Tribal deck. Maybe should have played a couple passages over some of the other dual lands. Maybe over a couple of temples. But we don't have a lot of expensive cards, so the passage is going to come into play tapped in the important part of our curve. So might as well get the Scry 1 from the temple at that point. But with the Paradise Druid and the Gilded Goose we already have a decent chunk of mana fixing. So it's less important maybe. So Sultai food. Oka tokens is another way to call it I guess. Let's uh, give this a shot. Hand is missing black mana, it's missing accelerants. Uh, I do get to go giant opportunity into Wicked Wolf which you know is kind of nice. Yeah, I guess I'll try it. I guess I'll keep this. I mean, it's land 5, but we're gonna need black man at some point, at least the scries. Another giant opportunity. Well, I'll bottom that, I think. So we've got a bit of a slow start on our side. But I do get the trophy and then... I guess I could also go giant opportunity into Wicked Wolf. Maybe that's better. So my Wicked Wolf is... Kind of safe, thanks to all these food tokens. Yeah, the combination of Corpse Knight and Worthy Knight is definitely pretty good. Uh-oh. Am I dead? Well, pretty much. Well, that's quite a beating. I guess her hand was a little slow. Could have sacrificed the food there to make her wolf indestructible. Alright. So this time we have... Paradise Druid to speed things up. Yeah, this seems okay. We've got uh, Invasion plus Oko. And yeah, Watery Grave is perfect. So I've got two options. I can play Druid or Invasion. They're both pretty decent. I guess I dig Invasion. Alright, so black green stompy. Make a 4 4 elk. Okay, 
Uh oh. Regisaur scary. So probably uh, a Great Henge type deck. Alright, so Oko is going to keep making 4-4s. Four I can play another Dreadhorde Invasion, although that doesn't accomplish a whole lot. I guess I would rather play Paradise Root, so I can play Wolf next turn. Also can't forget about the minus 5 here. Could potentially let me steal an opposing creature with power 3 or less. So I can exchange my 1-1 for, let's say, a Knight of the Ebon Legion. Or a Pelt Collector, if it's not big enough. Yeah, and there's a Great Henge. So it's gonna offset the cards I have to discard to the Regisaur. Alright, so both decks are kind of doing what they want to be doing. This is gonna grow the Pelt Collector. Yeah, we can use Oko's plus one on the Great Henge. Alright, so I guess that's the play here. Wildborn Preserver to draw an extra card first. Alright, let's get the Wicked Wolf in play. And then fight the Knight of Ebon Legion. We'll bottom the land for now. So Questing Beast is scary since that can potentially threaten both my life total and Oko at the same time. But uh, Oko being able to deal with the Great Henge is pretty nice. Just gotta try and survive this early wave of creatures and then we can try and take over with all these Oko synergies. Alright, so the Beast is going for my face. So Oko is pretty much dead here. I don't think I can realistically save it. So I should just try and take out some creatures in the process. Preserver can get bigger if they play more creatures. Questing Beast is kind of the scarier card since we have another Oko incoming. Block. Could double block the Preserver, I guess. I guess this isn't bad. Trophy could be useful too. So do I just Oko the token again? Nothing amazing to do with a Wicked Wolf until I make a food token first. Open your heart to the magic of I'll make an Elk, I'll keep up Trophy to make sure Oko survives and then next turn I can make food to play Wicked Wolf. That seems reasonable. Another questing beast, we can trophy. Let me double check. Because uh, this card has a lot of text, gotta make sure it doesn't have hex proof as well. Vigilance, death touch, haste. Blah blah blah. Damage can be prevented. Alright, no hex proof, good. A 
Let's make a food. Play wolf. I'll go full control real quick. Sacrifice food. Bam. Alright. And I think I'll keep this back in case of another questing beasts. And then next turn we can maybe start gaining some life with Oko. Alright, sweet. That was a nice game. Got to see all the synergies of our deck in action. Even Oko getting rid of a Great Hench. That was pretty impressive. Alright, a bit heavy on the forests in this opening hand, sadly. Still not sure if the Troll King should be part of the deck, but uh, this is going to be a mulligan. Alright, this seems good. We've got Invasion plus Oko. Question is, do I keep a backup Oko? I think I do. And then which land to bottom? Probably one of the temples. I guess Temple of Mystery. So I get to go turn to Invasion, turn 3 Oko. We will get to see our first Once Upon a Time. Also, by the way, you're not forced to cast Once Upon a Time in your first turn. If you don't have a turn 1 play, you can just hold this and then play it on the following turn. A Woodland Champion, looking good. So we're up against Black Green, Foul Mountain Knight, so this could be some sort of uh, adventure tribal deck. Finding an answer for the Innkeeper could be important. I don't know if making a giant champion is the way to go since they probably have the Black Knight that can kill it anyway, but I guess it also kills Oko. I think I'm gonna be busy casting Invasion and Oko in the next couple turns, so don't really have time for um, the champion. Alright, Vraska was a good pickup. So there's a Murderous Rider. So if I play Oko, it's gonna die. They can also play the Murderous Rider, Swift End at instant speed. So maybe I should play differently here. Profane Insight is also an instance. That's kind of nice that these are both instant speed. So how about I just play a couple mana dorks? Feels like it's kind of poor to play into the Murder Strider when we know about it. Just wait for a better window. Ooh, Questing Beast. That's a good one. Wicked Wolf, that can answer the questing beasts pretty nicely. So yeah, let's go for it. So Wicked Wolf, full control. And then might as well attack for two. Lovestruck Beasts makes a token. And Foul Miner Knight for one mana. And Lovestruck Beasts for three. Alright, so I could Vraska minus. That's pretty tempting, just kill the beast. Don't really need forests. And then I'm not gonna attack into the Falmar Knights. Also wanna keep blockers back in case of questing beast, I guess. A rider kills 
the wolf, so now maybe Oko is good to go. Legion send my token, they get to see the two Okos in my hand. The goose does block the one ones, but I guess it can send both at Vraska and Killer. Eh, fair enough. The goose is still gonna block. It's a loyal goose. Eh, let's get Oko in play. And I can make a food token with the goose end of turn. And then the food tokens also offset the life loss from the Dreadhorde invasion. Opponent's got 7 mana. A murderous rider on an adventure. Falmar Knight going face. Not sure what to make of that. But I guess I don't mind trading for Paradise Druid here. And there's a rider. Into another questing beast. Alright. Well, the 4 fours match up quite nicely against the beast, and Trophy was a good pickup. So for now, I'm just going to keep making 4 fours. Let's broaden your existence. And keep up Goose plus Trophy. Sure. Opponent's also down to 9 in the meantime. Ooh, and the Vraska. Alright, this could be bad. Time to step out of the shadows. So I'm gonna have to trophy the questing beast here. And then the goose can block the token, make another food. Ooh, giant opportunity. So I can make a 7-7. Seven seven. Seems good. Um, also, Oko can make food tokens into... 3-3s three and then we get to keep the 1-1, one, one, but I think I would rather turn the 1-1 one, one into a 4-4. Four, four. So, let's giant opportunity. Could also minus 5 to Oko, but I think I would rather just keep doing this. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. Once upon a time to find some action, so can find lands early and uh, creatures later. Finds the innkeeper that we suspected, but it's not as good as it would have been uh, earlier. Still gonna draw a card here though. Alright, so I've got a pretty even board state. That's a good one, so now they can draw even more cards, potentially. Make a food. I am down to three, so I also need to keep my life total in mind here. Although Woodland Champion's a good pickup. Uh, probably want to start by attacking Vraska. They could double block the 4-4 with the Murderous Riders, but that's fine by me. So 
think I just keep making four fours and then the goose can provide some food. I invite you to change your ways. Vraska could minus to kill one of my creatures. Or to kill Invasion or Oko. Alright, so if they draw some adventure creatures here, we could definitely fall behind from the card draw that the Innkeeper provides. Wanna draw our own Vraska pretty much, that would probably be one of our best draws, just being able to kill Innkeeper and then start drawing some cards and gaining some life. That kills a token. And a Questing Beasts. And they just attack with the beast, so that that's good. So yeah, I have to make a token with the goose, so the champion can chum the beast. I could also just sack food to gain three and go up to six. I guess maybe that's better. Like Oko's gonna take four as well, but maybe that's fine. Yeah, I guess sacking food is better. Alright, and there's Raska right on time. I'm at 1, so Invasion would kill me next turn, unless I gain some life here. The Minus doesn't gain me any life. I guess I can upkeep, still make a food with a goose and sack it before I die to the Invasion. And then kill this Innkeeper, so it doesn't get out of hand. I think I like that. It's a bit risky, but... And I don't think I can afford to attack. If they kill my goose, I'm cooked. Nah. Lovestruck beast, so we prevented the card draw at least from the innkeeper. Alright, so upkeep, make a food. Sack of food. I've got a bunch of options. I can start drawing with Vraska. I could sack a land, I could sack a token. Probably still want to make 4 fours with uh, Oko. So how about I sack a land for now. Alright, do I want to pay 2 to play Paradise Road? Probably not. Alright, so we're starting to pull ahead now with our Planeswalkers. What are we hoping to draw? I guess something like a Wicked Wolf would be pretty good. The Troll at 6 mana would be decent. Another Murderous Rider. Is this the last one or how many have we had so far? Go to three. Yeah, right. I'm just gonna keep sacking lands, I think. Could kill the Lovestruck Beast, but I would rather keep my Vraska around. The ends justify the means. Right. Could also start making food and sacking that to Vraska instead. Let's 
sooner or later the elk army is gonna get an attack in. Ooh, Order of the Midnight could be good. Gets back a beast. But a 2-2 flyer is actually pretty relevant on this board. So I might have to steal that. Could also turn it into a 3-3 with Oko. That also works, but we'll see. Yeah, I can also minus Vraska. The only awkward thing about minusing Vraska is that I wouldn't be unable to maybe kill something on the following turn, but it's an option. Alright, trophy my invasion. They've had enough. Don't know if it matters. Island, I guess. Make a food. Don't need to sacrifice it quite yet. Uh, maybe I do. I might not have the mana later. Yeah, we'll temple first, see what's up. Another champion. Yeah, it's not bad, I guess. So, what am I doing about this uh, Order of the Midnight? Yeah, maybe just make food with the goose right now. And steal the flyer in exchange for some food. I assure you our deal is worth your while. And then just uh, plus for now. And then try and win with ultimate maybe. I could start attacking with the woodlands, but now they still have a reasonable block on it. So I'd rather wait. So yeah, I could try and win with Vraska ultimate, that's maybe the most straightforward way. Oh yeah, I guess I should have um, drawn with Vraska first and then the goose making a food would have grown a champion up to a 3-3. So a small uh, missed sequence there. Ooh, the feasting troll king. That's pretty good. It grows the champions significantly. Alright, so that's gonna prompt a concession. <laughs> The Troll King has arrived. Well, that was a super grindy game, but uh, that was fun. Both decks kind of got to do their thing. We were pretty close to dying. Had to upkeep sack of food so we wouldn't die to our own invasion. But uh, yeah, Oko plus invasion just provides a ton of advantage over the course of a game. Still definitely a lot of room for improvements. But uh, like the giant opportunities, maybe the more questionable inclusion at the moment. The Troll King was a good finisher in that game, but I could see replacing it with something else, maybe like the 6 mana Garruk or Liliana at 6 mana instead. But just a combination of Gilded Goose, Invasion, Oko, Vraska, that's definitely a solid core for a green mid-range food-based deck. And then whether you want uh, Wicked Wolf as well is uh, up to you. But uh, yeah, Sultai Food. Not uh, a bad first set of games. I think that's going to be it for me today. want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.